Sundanen has a rich history, one of vibrancy, learning and tragedy. Today I'm going to look at the history of the Victoria Hall, built 1872 by the Quaker minister Edward Backhouse. On the 16th of June, however, this beautiful and beloved building turned a sunny day of fun for the children into a tragedy that changed history. For the first time ever, and the last, the Fays created a show just for children. The theatre was packed, parents having dropped their children off safely, wishing them fun and promising to see them later, not realising that for many, this was their final goodbye. The children were enchanted by the magic tricks and conjuring being created before them. After a pause, Mr Fay told the children, Beneath each of your seats is a ticket, to which each of you will receive a toy on your way out. Excitement rippled through the crowd. And the children saw others in the front lower tier with their toys that disaster struck. The children surged forwards, hurrying to the staircase to get their toy, fearful that there wouldn't be enough and excited for the treat. When other children saw this happen, they followed. The children, unable to see around the bend in the staircase, didn't realise that the door was only partially open, forcing the children at the front to press together into the narrow staircase pushing some children behind the partially open door and squashing others. Some children fell and were trampled, while others were forced to on top of the fallen and surged forwards. Cries of something is wrong were swept away along with the children. The parents coming to collect their children heard the desperate cries from the streets. Inspector Lowy addressed the crowd, trying to organise a rescue. Slowly, they managed to pull children out of the gap one at a time. The dead children were laid carefully in the dress circle, whilst the living were laid out in the streets to recover. In total, 183 children died, 30 of which were the complete Viber class Sunday school children, and one family lost all their children. The news of this calamity rocked England. The Queen was devastated at the loss of life and donated towards the funerals of the children, sending her deepest condolences and helping towards a memorial statue to be built, which was erected later that year in Mowbray Park, across from the scene of the tragedy. Fifteen-year-old Robert Briggs was shocked at the loss of life. He had studied in London and was currently working at the Walhamston Borough Engineer in 1883. He was determined that this would never happen again and started work on an invention, the emergency pushed bar. On the 13th of November 1891, he applied for a patent which was granted on the 2nd of November 1892 and installed in the Empire building he had been constructing in Edinburgh, the first building to ever have the panic vault. The tragedy of this day is remembered by the people of Sunderland who visit the monument each year to pay res respects to the children.
Yet, for another 58 years after the event, the theatre loomed over the city, a constant reminder of that tragic day. Due to the dockyards of Sunderland, the Germans started their Blitzberg in 1941. An air raid siren warned the city of the Blitz attack. And the Victoria Hall was bombed. The place that brought joy and sorrow was destroyed in the early hours. Today, where the Victoria Hall stood proudly in her majestic glory, new buildings have replaced her, bringing new life to what became a tragic part of Sunderland's history and changed the world forever. <laughs>